you know, to get this energy flowing. The stage is an altar. Breaths here are ritual. Poets converted into adolescent prophets, spewing poems to become them, to embody them. When pencil mark lies between, that's where many of us stand between the lines of vessels and symbiotic offerings between poem and prophecy. We are the instruments of the message. We are the griots of the messenger. Sometimes these poems are eulogies. Sometimes obituaries. But these poems, with time, become the offering, the blessing, the affirmation, the healing of a poet's soul. Breathe. We are used to killing it. Sacrifices are age old. We must learn and listen. Learn to create rather than shed blood. Listen to the countless spirits resurrected through the talking of their vessels, of their children. Breathe. Because breaths here are rituals, invoking the unremembered and telling their story. Breaths. Here are ritual, inhale, misery, miracles, minds, minutes, and mouths of truths, and exhale a truth rediscovered, remembered, resurrected, respond to the energy given to you, breathe. Because breaths are ceremonial, breaths are before a poem, cyphers complete when the BPM beats per minute of a heart reaches 91.1, 70% verbal extractions, 21% oxygen, and 0.1% thought. Breaths here are just as important as the words and the message. Breaths here are internal, external, internal, eternal. Breaths here are one of the many things poems and poets have in common. Poets, breathe. Readers, breathe. Audience, breathe. For the long forgotten, breathe. For the unnamed, breathe. For the immigrants and their stories, breathe. For the poets lost in numbers. For the ceremonies to be continued. For the microphones, sound system, and venue concealing a voiceless echo, breathe. For the martyrs who were writing a definition of dying for a cause. For the young writer, I mean writer. May she be unafraid of being heard. May the spirits channel through her. May she be the one to redefine this art. May she use a tongue to define and heal. May she write to listen and listen so she can write for the poets learning to breathe. For poets must learn to breathe. For breaths are vital.